I'm in my craft room. I'm in my craft room messing with this 24 inch Canon printer. I'm printing out on a uh, printable vinyl. I want to see how it comes out and then I'm going to put it on a foam board and hang it up for the grandchild. So it's coming. It's looking good so far. I hope the sticker paper is pretty good. It's really heavy. It's coming out. This is the Canon 24 inch. It can print as long as you want, as long as it fit in that paper. Um, this is peelable vinyl. So you peel it off the bottom piece and stick it. That's going to be nice. I wanted to show y'all that it's a refillable ink cartridge. Yes. I bought that Epson. I sent that Epson back. That Epson ink is so expensive. You don't even want to use it. So you can't open it while you're in it, but that's where the ink cartridges are at. And you can see that it's refillable. So this is a new printer. I like it. I'm glad I sent that Epson back. They cost about the same much, about seven to eight hundred dollars. So I printed this from Canon. This is printable vinyl. I ain't even checked to see about the peeling part yet or how easy it is to get it off the paper. Oh, it is easy. And it's sticky. So what I'm gonna do is cut the picture out and then apply it to one of the foam boards. So this, I can use my, um, so the next picture I'll do, I'm gonna um, play with my um, my Cricut machine right there. The big one, the 24 inch. So I'm gonna make another picture after this and then I'm gonna put it in there and cut it out because I didn't have a chance to play with it yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and I'll be back. So my picture is all cut out. It's a little too big for this poster board. I can always add another piece and then add some popsicle sticks but since it's only as a practice run for large props for birthday parties or something, if somebody wants some, I'm going to cut the bottom of the legs off because it's for the grandchild. So I just stuck something on there to start to peel. Because this is like a giant sticker paper. That's what I call it. Sticker. So this is like a practice run for large props. Um, so I'm gonna line this up. Because you wanna make sure everything good when you start filling this paper and making sure everything is um, where it needs to be. Filling it back up is not something you can do. So putting it down, you only get one chance with this. So you see I already got a crinkle in it. If I rub it enough, it'll come out. But when I try this again, I'm gonna be more careful. It's kind of hard, you know, to do stuff while you're on video. basically gonna go this you're gonna go here and you're gonna take your time and you're gonna peel and smooth at the same time peel and smooth peel and smooth and once you peel and smooth you'll get it to where you want i mean they got larger foam boards i would have to buy larger boards or a large cardboard Cut out or something to use for this but i'm gonna look for some large stands 
some large stands that when I put this on one of those cardboard stands, it has a piece to make it stand up. So if I was to do the Gabby Gabby party for my grandbaby, because she loves Gabby Gabby, I will make tall stand up props around the party. And that way, when it's all over, she can either take them home or some of the people from the party can take them home. It's no big deal. So I just keep making sure it's smooth. I love this sticker paper, so I will be ordering some more of this paper. I think it cost me about $69. That's all. y'all cut off. I could just keep the little piece of the legs but like I said this is like a first run a first run of it and um I'm just gonna fold it under and cut it off now what I'm gonna do so what I'm gonna do now is use my razor and I'm gonna cut this out Gotta be patient with this stuff. Just take your time and cut it out. I haven't done no videos in a while, maybe a few months. Um, if you have anything you'd like me to make, just hit me up on Messenger and I will do a video for you. So I'm going to cut this all out. So I'm all cut out and everything. It's nice. I think it's maybe about, it's pretty tall. So I, I got another piece of this foam board. And what I'm doing is I just, just cut the top layer of it so I can fold it down to where I want to put it at. And I got my hot glue gun ready. So I'm just going to stick this here. Try to get it. You know, get this done before. That should help it stand up if I need to use it for the party. And we'll just put some along the edges here and here. Just to stabilize it and make sure it don't come apart and the, the people who will purchase these. And they can be bigger. I'm going to do a life size of my grandbaby. Just see everything on YouTube and everything is still pretty much the same. Nothing really, nothing come out new. So I want to do some different stuff, props. Or I watch them take football players and make tall stands out of them. Uh, somebody at a memorial. Uh, will use these for to stand up their family members but they would have to be cut in two parts I'm not sure how I think my printer would print all the way out it's as big as it goes but yes I'm loving this cannon y'all because it's refillable and let me show you the refillable now that it's finished printing look at that refillable tank that Epson I took it back. I sent it back. They actually came and picked it up from the house and took it back. It took two weeks to get my money back because when they pick something up for you, it's going to take about two weeks. So just know that if you did purchase the cannon and you still have enough time to send it back, send it back because it's refillable. It's good. 
the only thing about this refillable is that they want you to purchase the, the ink, which is the same Hippo ink for $115, which you don't have to. Because what I did, I punched a hole in it, in the ink bottle, and then I poured the other ink that I had inside. So, I hope you like this video. You see how tall it is. It's standing up. That's my first stand-up prop. Hope you like this video.